What's up guys, today I'm going to tell you why I like using the command line or terminal and the things that it's good, it's useful for. So the first thing I like to use it for is instead of using Finder or on Windows, uh, Windows Explorer, um, the GUI applications to kind of move around files, that sort of thing. I can do all of that in the command line. So I can do, I can look at the files that are in any folder on my computer. I can move them, I can copy them, I can, uh, you know, look at their contents. Um, and it also, those are just like the basic operations that you can do on files. You can extend it a lot more and it'll do a lot more powerful things with the uh, terminal. So for example, let's say I wanted to move all the C++ files off my desktop. So just do it like that and then move them, for example, to my downloads folder. Um, so, as you notice, I did a star command right there. So that just grabs all the, you know, files that end in the .c++. So that's a pretty short command and it moves a ton of, possibly a ton of files. Now take that compared to if I just click through my C++ and then move them over manually like this or something. So, this works. Um, I only have four files here, so it's not too bad. But let's say I had 10 files, 20, 30, 40. You don't want to be manually moving them over. It's a lot faster just type a command like this um, to, to do, you know, just move a couple files over. And then you can also extend this. Um, it's very flexible. So, for example, maybe I want to do Python files instead. I don't want to just do C++. Um, there's many different ways to customize and do different things. Another cool command I like to do is the find command, which allows you to you know, look in any folder. So right now, I just want to check my desktop. Um, and I'm going to be looking for all uh, files that have the word hello in them. Um, and I can change this to any word I want. And I can just do it like this. This will go through every file on my desktop and look for a file that has the word hello in it and show me the, uh, where are the contents um, of that file, of where it says hello. And you can change this to anything. It doesn't have to be hello. And you can look anywhere. You don't have to look just in your desktop. So I kind of, all the type of searching, you know, moving, deleting files, I now like to do um, in Linux or in the command line. So the other thing is using Git. So I find it really easy just to uh, do version control through the command line. Now there's GUIs you can use. If you like using the GUIs, that's fine. I find it a lot easier and a lot faster just doing it from the command line. Just do a git add, and then I just do a git commit, and I'm done. You know, and I can also just pick the specific files that I'm looking for. Um, you saw I did dot star dot cpp to target just C plus files. Well, it's similar doing that for um, other commands as well. So it's very helpful. The last thing I like to use the command line for that I found extremely helpful is for installing different software, following tutorials, um, for learning new frameworks or libraries. Um, a lot of them use uh, the command line to do that sort of thing. So for example, take the Create, Create React app. So this is for a popular JavaScript library called React that Facebook made. And this is a, a tool that you can use. Now let's say I wanted to use this tool. Well, I come to the readme on GitHub and I scroll down and I see um, right here how you use it. It basically just gives me these four commands to type into my uh, terminal and to run. So if I didn't know how to use terminal this would look very cryptic and I'd have no idea how this works but if I was familiar with terminal I'd be able to understand it and this would make sense. And this is it's not just this one library, lots of things I'm sure you've seen on GitHub or other places um, where people just do the some give you some commands that they want you to type in. So having an understanding of the command line really helps for doing different programming uh, tasks like this. So and just another example of that is, uh, for example, if you wanted to do the Django tutorial. Um, this is for this is a Python web framework that's pretty popular. Um, right here, it gives you a command. This is the first, this is part one, very beginning, first thing after you get Django installed. Um, it wants you to you know, type Python in the command line. And then once you create a project using this command line tool. So, um, and there's many others. I'm sure you've seen npm, um, pip, um, and many other things that have been used to say install different software 
or whatnot. So those are kind of the reasons why I like using the terminal and the command line and found it super useful in uh, you know, learning programming and has helped in a lot of areas. And I'm really glad I spent the time to learn it. And I find the best way to actually learn it is to just, you know, instead, every just go straight into it. If I want to move some files around, I go and try to command line. I try to move them around, doing it like this, and just see if I can get it to work. Um, and I might be just a little bit slower doing it this way. Um, but, you know, the second time you do it, you know, you might have to Google how it works. Third time you Google it. But then eventually, you just keep doing that. Eventually, you remember it. And then you'll be very happy once you have it memorized. You can just whip around the command line doing different commands um, with different flags and different options, and you'll be very uh, uh, speedy and it'll be very helpful. So if you're interested in uh, learning the command line and becoming more proficient at it, and so you can be a better programmer and do all the things that I described before, I'm going to be doing a uh, tutorial series on how to use it. So just go to the next video and it'll show you everything you need to know to become a wizard at the command line.